hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan this video is one of my subscriber has requested how to join two tables from SQL server database into MVC view page without using entity framework and here we got the final output notice that header tags join two tables from SQL server database in MVC without using entity framework below that the two columns we have added from two tables the C name column which is a country name from the country table and S name is a state name from the state table let's check in the database also from the state table S name I have added and from the country table the C name I have added that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before writing the coding part in MVC, first we'll check the tables in SQL Server Management Studio. The tables I have taken, the country table and state table. I want to join these two tables. The most important condition is, when we want to join tables, at least one column must be similar between the two tables. If you notice in the country table, which contains two columns, CID and CNAME. CID is a country ID and CNAME is a country name. And in the state table, which contains three columns, state ID, state name, and CID. If you notice the last column CID, which is a country ID from the state table, and in the country table, the CID column. These two columns are similar. So with the help of these two columns, I will join this country and state table. So let's write the coding part. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new MVC application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is MVC Join Tables Without Entity Framework. This is my project name. Click OK. And from the ASP.NET templates, I'm selecting MVC, click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. First in this project, I'm adding my connection string. For that, open Server Explorer, right click the data connections, add connection. I'm adding a SQL server name in the PC. After adding my SQL server name, next I'm selecting the database name. The tables I have created in the sample DB. So I have selected sample DB, test connection. It succeeded, okay, okay. And here we got the sample db.dbo is added under data connections. Now we require the data source of the sample DB. Right click the sample db.dbo, go to properties. In the properties, notice there is a connection string which contains the data source. Just copy the data source. After that, open Solution Explorer. In the project at the bottom, there is a web.config file. Open that one. Let's add the connection string in this web.config file. If you notice, there is already a default connection string. So I'm adding our connection string. Add name is equals to my connection. And the connection string I'm pasting the connection string which I have copied. Then provider name. The provider name is a system dot data dot SQL client. After adding connection string in the web.config file, the next step open solution explorer. Now let's add a class in this models folder. Right click the models folder, add class. The class name is join class add and here we got our join class now in this join class I'm just defining the public properties I'm adding only the C name and S name columns only public string C name get set public string S name the C name is a country name and S name is a state name. After adding the properties in this join class, next step, 
open solution explorer now let's add the mvc controller in this controllers folder select the controllers folder right click the mouse add controller and i'm selecting mvc for controller empty add the controller name is join tables is a controller name add and here we got our mvc controller join tables now first we'll add our necessary namespaces first i'm adding the model class for that i'm adding my project name dot models folder after that to connect the sql server database we require three namespaces using system dot data the next namespace is using system dot data dot sql client and the nums and the last namespace using system dot configuration after adding the four namespaces now in the public action result index which is a get method i'm adding a list in the list class the type of elements in the list we are getting from this join class join class let's declare an object jc is equals to new join class new list join class then string main con let's add the con connection string configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes i'm adding my connection string name which is my connection let's add that one after that connection string property sql connection sql con is equals to new sql connection the connection string i'm adding the variable main con the string variable string sql query here the sql query is we are joining the two tables using inner join so first between double quotes uh, select country dot the column name c name comma and the next column from the state table state s name s capital state dot s name s is capital from the country table in a join the next table name is a state the condition here is to joining the tables we require the common column names so from the country table we have cid the country table cid let's add that one cid is equals to from the state table i'm adding cid semicolon that's it it's a very simple statement to joining two tables using inner join after that sql command method sql com is equals to new sql command method and this command method takes two parameters the first one is a sql uh, sql query comma uh, the second one is a connection object the connection object we are getting from this sql con after that SQL data adapter SQL uh, let's create an object SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter I'm adding the SQL command object SQL com then data table DT is equals to new data table after that let's fill the data SDA dot fill method I'm filling the data with the data table object then then i'm implementing for each loop for each loop data row br in dt dot uh, rows property now when this for each loop let's create an object for this class join class jc object is equals to new join class now let's add the properties from the class using the object jc object dot 
the class name first one is a C name which is a country name is equals to dr dot dr but in square brackets I am adding the column name which is a C name I want to display dot to string method semicolon jc object dot s name the second column name is equals to dr between double quotes the second column name is a state name which is s name the column name is dot to string method now let's add this object into this list object so jc dot add method in this add method i'm adding the join class object which is a jc obj and the return view i'm adding this object name list object name jc that's it we have written the coding part in mvc to join two tables country and state now to view the data we require the index view page so before adding the view page to this project first we must build the application so let's build the application build build solution and the project builds successfully let's close this output message box now let's create the index view page select the index method of the action result right click the mouse add view the view name is index only the template I'm selecting the list template because I want to display the records and the model class our model class is a join class so let's select the join class where it is here it is a join class and the data context class we don't have any we don't have any entity model so I'm not adding anything in the data context just click add and here we got the index view page with the list templates now what I'm doing I'm deleting this action link the create come to the bottom and also I'm deleting this edit details and delete links also after that let's add the center tag center put this center tag at the bottom of the table after the table and I'm changing the header join two tables from SQL server database in MVC it's the without using entity framework then I'm adding horizontal line that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the results on the browser but before run this application the most important we have to change the controller name open solution explorer in the project there is a app underscore start folder expand that one notice there is a route config.cs file open that one and here the controller name is a home which is a default one let's delete that one and our controller name is a join tables is a controller name I'm adding the join tables controller name and the action result page which is the index this page only now let's check the results Google Chrome oops here we got some error let's fix that one stop debugging here I forgot to add on let's check the output again index.cshtml google chrome and here we got the final output notice that header tags join two tables from sql server database in msc without using entity framework below that the two columns we have added from two tables the c name column which is a country name from the country table and s name is a state name from the state table let's check in the database also from the state table s name i have added and from the country table the c name i have added that's it